Welcome back to Rockers Review. I'm Jose Villeneuve, and for this week, we have Izzy Muhammad back again talking about a different album. What are we going to talk about this week, Izzy? Chaos in the Calm by James Bay. Who's James Bay? I don't know. you got to explain this to me. He's from the UK, and yeah. he's like classified under alternative and rock, but basically he dropped this album last year, and it's been really popular over there. It went two times platinum, but they have like a okay. different scaling system over there. But over here in the um, States, it also went gold, so it's been a pretty popular album. Are there any singles that maybe I've heard on the radio and I m might not be able to recognize that it's him? Uh, the Let It Go. Is that the Frozen song or the other No, the, the other James Bay's version, not oh, the okay. Frozen. It's like, you definitely hear that a lot. It sounds like the beginning to like a Friday Night Lights show or something. Okay. With the, the uh, guitar. I, I think I can picture that. And then you got the uh, Collide, if you play 2K. That was one of the songs on either last year's track list or this year. But usually they try to get like a lot of different genres in there. Right. So they got James Bay in there for Collide. Collide was a pretty good song. You got Scars. Like I, I, I listened to this album two times. I, I, the only song that I heard before before I got into James Bay was Let It Go. And then I decided to look more into him. And then uh, I really enjoyed this album because it has a lot of, it has a different feel to it. So would you like to name some other songs for us who might not know who James Bay is? Um, you got, there's a lot of things like Hold Back the River, which was like probably the most popular song he had on there. And like there's things uh, like Scars, like I already said, Best Fake Smile, Movie Together, Get Out While You Can. It's like basically what I understand from this album, like it's not like he's in a relationship kind of, but yeah. he's like going through it and trying to get this girl or significant other to like give in all the way, but it's, it's like, it's not traditional rock, it's like alternative, it's different. It's not like street, wild, it's calm, but then it has chaos, like, you know, like the name right, of this, right, the album. Okay. So how did you actually like hear about James Bay? Was it through 2K or was it through Let It Go? Uh, what came first for you? I believe it was from 2K, but I really didn't look into like what the song was, I just like knew what it was. I, I knew what Collide was because of 2K, you know, you look up the soundtrack, but I didn't really get into listening to him until I listened to uh, Let It Go. Let It Go was like the main song that I heard the mostly. So is this, you're, you're studying music, you're in your fields music, you're, you're walking to class music. How, when do you prefer to listen to James Bay? Uh, I feel like you can listen to it anytime. It wasn't, it's not like a... Do you have a certain I, mood? I don't know if it gives like a feelings mood. Definitely talking about a relationship. Like just the, like the names of the songs, like what what you hear in a song, like scars, and um, hold out while I mean get out while you can. It's just like those type of songs. They like make you feel, excuse me, make you feel like you're in your feelings or something, but you're really not. It's just like it gives off a different vibe. It's not rock. It's it's like a alternative. It's what they call right. it. Okay. But he was nominated for three Grammys for best rock and best rock male artist. So I guess they classify him as that. But he doesn't like give off that rock vibe to me. It's just it's different. I don't, I don't know what type of feeling the album gives off, but I just know it's good music. So can you compare what you would classify as your traditional rock album versus James Bay's? Traditional rock? I don't know. I mean, uh, that's a good one because I, I, don't, I don't really think you about got, what traditionally like me. real rock is. There's because rock and roll, you know, there's there's Aerosmith, I wouldn't, that's what I would classify as regular rock. Who? Uh, Aerosmith, you know, Dream On. You know, oh yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that's more traditional. Right. I wouldn't think about this as being more traditional. This is like completely its own type thing. Like acoustic thing. guitars and, yeah. and uh, non-synthetic instruments, you know. Like when they record that, they play, they use real instruments instead of a synthesizer or something a rap uh, producer might use as a artificial sounds. Yeah, but you could definitely still hear some acoustics with him. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So, Rockers has been another segment of Rockers View. Turn, tune in next week for our next album.